So I'm going to talk about the WL Toys F949 brushless conversion. This plane means um, something to me because it's what I used to learn how to fly initially. Um, it's a great learning plane in my opinion because um, it can pretty much put it up in the air and then if you get it high enough it will just float there um, and you don't have to use any throttle at all. It can fly even in like a slight light breeze and then it'll just stay up there. It's a very relaxing flyer and it can fly for up to 20-30 minutes on a charge. Um, unfortunately the major drawback to this plane is that you really can't fly it in anything greater than um, 5 mile per hour winds because the wind's just gonna take it wherever it wants to go and you'll lose control of it and it'll end up in a tree or something. And the other drawback to this plane is that the brush motors um, in here only last for about 10 hours. Uh, mine's lasted for much less than that because I used it to learn how to fly, so I crashed it a lot. And nose first, nose first landings into the ground tend to shorten lifespan of these motors. Um, so with that said, um, this is the original plane. As you can see, um, it comes with um, brake with servos on it and a brush DSC. And it's a tri motor configuration in there, meaning there's three brush motors um, in a gearbox. Uh, so when I did the conversion, I could have gone one of two ways. Um, I could have made it a very light plane, like this one. Or I could have made it a more powerful version um, that weighs a little bit more. So this plane weighs about 44 grams about the battery, the original one. And once I converted it, I decided to go with the more powerful version because um, I already know what this one flies like. So the new version is here. So this one weighs um, a little bit more, but not too much more. Um, I think it weighs about 66 grams or so. And it uses, um, let's see, it uses two Hobby King um, servos. I think they're HK15318B. They're like two gram servos. It also uses. Um, a generic 10 amp ESC and a micro receiver with JST plugs. And I had to, I decided to use the JST plugs because um, the servos used that. Unfortunately, the ESC did not, so I had to do a little bit of a conversion for the ESC wire. Cut, so it came with servo connector. I had to cut that off and put on the. Um, JST connector up here. And that's pretty much hot glued in here. Um, and then in front is a Racer Star motor um, VR1306 um, 3100kV. It may be a little bit too much for this light airplane, but we'll find out soon enough. And the last thing I did was. Um, down here. After I did the conversion, I realized that the um, battery that I wanted to use did not have to, would affect the CG to make it a little bit too nose heavy. And I had to cut away, so this is the original one, this is the new one. I had to pretty much cut this section out and then reverse it and then glue it back in place. So this is what you see as a result. And with that, I can use pretty much any battery that I want. Um, I mean, given that it fits inside that bay. And um, we'll fly it and see how it flies. And actually, one thing I did forget to mention was the props. These are 5030 props. Um, they might be a bit too big, I'm not sure. We'll have to fly it and see. <laughs> 